Hi guys, it's Doc Curry, and I might have COVID, but I'm still bringing you the important news for this week, including what's coming up this week for earnings, and a major player getting into the metaverse, including NFTs and their own cryptocurrency. So let's get into it! Okay, it looks like it's going to be another volatile week for stocks, with the market seeing the highest volatility since March of 2020. Hundreds of stocks are already in bear market territory, down over 20% from their highs. While many retail popular high growth stocks entered bear market territory in March of last year, the bear market is now taking hold of large caps as well. Disney, Netflix, Salesforce, and Twitter are all in bear market territory. Earnings season is in full swing with Netflix and American Airlines reporting earnings on Thursday, so we'll have to see how those earnings affect the market this week. Bank earnings were not good last week. JP Morgan and Citigroup both fell after reporting weaker than expected earnings and bad guidance. While bank revenue was up due to an increase in interest rates, expenses skyrocketed. Citigroup reported an 18% increase in expenses, while JP Morgan reported an 11% increase in expenses. The rise in expenses was mostly due to a significant rise in employee pay, as both companies had to increase salaries to attract and retain employees. Now, both banks saw a decline in revenues in their consumer banking business and an increase in revenue from their institutional clients. That should be good news for investment banks such as Goldman Sachs and Jefferies that don't have a large consumer banking business outside of providing loans. And to be sure, all banks are expecting increasing profits as interest rates rise, as we saw when Wells Fargo's reported earnings last week. The only question is whether or not inflation, due to higher employee pay, will offset the rising revenues from lending, therefore decreasing profits again. Goldman Sachs is reporting earnings Tuesday before the opening bell, with a slew of other banks reporting earnings throughout the remainder of this week. In other news, Walmart is entering the metaverse with plans to create its own cryptocurrency and the creation of NFTs. WMT was already a great stock to buy due to inflation, and now I would expect that WMT will skyrocket on Tuesday on this news. While it is true that this news is a little bit old, the trademarks were filed back on December 30th, it is just now being reported by the media, which I think is going to get this on a lot of people's radar and cause the stock to rise on Tuesday. I will be watching WMT at the open for a possible call option day trade. Alright, that's the important news you need to know for this week. Unfortunately, I can't give you guys any more details because I'm going to lose my voice here in a minute. But if you want to stay up to date with more market news as well as get every single trade I make within minutes of making the trade, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash stockcurry. Also, all throughout the day, we're going to be talking about stocks, options, and crypto in our free Discord community. I am very active over there, so come join us at the free Discord. It's at stockcurry.vip slash Discord. You just have to fill out a quick application. Don't worry, everybody gets approved. The application is just there to help prevent scammers. So again, stockcurry.vip to go join the free Discord, where we'll talk about stocks, options, and crypto all day long while the markets are open. Alright, I hope you got a lot out of this video. Comment down below what you trades you're going to be making this week. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're on YouTube, click the bell icon and click all so that you can get notified when I release my next video. I hope you have a lot of success trading and I will see you tomorrow.